It's Wednesday morning and I've got a lot of orders to pull, but first I want to tell you guys about something really fun that I did last night. A friend of mine has been recording some podcasts um, for several months now. I've been listening to all of them and really enjoying them. One of them is called Record Roundtable, where they go through an artist's entire discography and talk about it and discuss it. And the other is called Good Band, Bad Band, where they take two bands that kind of have similar names and then talk about both of them and then you know pick who's the good band the bad band at the end uh for example they did bare naked lady gaga shania train just a really fun podcast and i've always enjoyed listening to it and last night i had a chance to be on both of the podcasts um, the good band bad band was eve six nine and the record round table was about foo fighters one of my favorite bands if you guys enjoy podcasts you like music i'll put a link down below if you want to check them out. I had a lot of fun with them, and hopefully I get to do it again sometime soon. Okay, um, first thing that's going out the door is this Sohio sign. I got this at a garage sale a couple weeks ago uh, for two bucks, and all of these Sohio glasses. Pretty cool designs on these. The sign sold for $59.99 plus shipping, and the glasses sold for $35 free shipping. I just did a, a sale outside of eBay on these because um, a viewer messaged me about them. All that Ohio stuff is going out to a viewer named Ron. Ron, thanks for the support. Hope you like that stuff. Next thing is this uh, parking meter. Doesn't have like the stand or anything, but just selling it as is. A uh, viewer named Dennis reached out um, via email asking about it, and I sold it to him for $25 plus shipping. Dennis has bought stuff for me before, so Dennis, thank you for the continued support. It means a lot. Sold a DVD, it's in D2. Executive Action. This sold for $8.99, free shipping. Sold a pair of gloves. These are weather resistant gloves. I got these um, clearance down retail arbitrage for a buck or two. They sold for $6.99 plus shipping. And they're going out to viewer named Eddie. Eddie, thanks for the business. Hope you like the gloves. So this McDonald's playset. This is a vintage Barbie McDonald's playset. I got this at a garage sale three or four months ago. Paid two bucks. It's got all the little accessories and everything i had it listed for like 40 or best offer didn't really get any hits on it somebody finally offered 25 dollars plus shipping and i took it sold a leather jacket this is a polo ralph Lauren leather jacket it was part of that bulk buy i made about a month ago it sold for 89.99 plus shipping sold a kevin harvick nitro boat um i think it is this one right here this is it, Nitro Boat and Trailer. This was part of that big bulk uh, NASCAR buy that I made. I had it listed for like 50 or 60. I sent out a best offer of $35 plus shipping, and somebody took it. Let's go on to a viewer named Barrel, who's bought some other cars for me too. Barrel, thanks for the support, man. I really appreciate it. All right, next thing I'm pulling is an F4. It is all of the slick toy farm implements I just picked up last weekend. There's seven of them in total. I've got about $25 into them and a viewer reached out to me and made me an offer of $85 free shipping and I took it. Those are all going out to Robert. Robert, thanks for the support. Hope you like the toys. Sold a couple mini football helmets that I just picked up. Sold two to the same buyer. I sold the West Virginia Mountaineers and the Arkansas Razorbacks. They sold for $16 plus shipping. Those are going to viewer as well. Lots of viewer sales today. Dustin bought those. Dustin, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. Okay, I sold some books in B2. It is this Twilight series. This is a set of hardback books that I got at a garage sale. I paid $5 for them. They're new in the plastic. They sold for $29.99 plus shipping. I sold a catcher's mint. This is a Rawlings. That was at a garage sale for six bucks. It sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Sold another farm toy. This one's newer than the other ones. It's a New Holland Hayliner. This sold for $17.99 plus shipping. Sold a coffee mug. This is a Disney's Animal Kingdom mug. Um, I got this for a dollar at a garage sale. It sold for $12.99 plus shipping. I sold a hole punch. This guy right here. Um, this belonged to my wife. She was using it to punch holes for her planner, decided she didn't want it anymore, so we sold it. Sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Pulling one thing from storage today. 
sold this little bottle of Avon sunscreen. I got this in Tennessee at the Highway 127 yard sale. I might have a buck or two into it. It sold for $7.99, free shipping. It's Thursday morning and I've got some orders to ship out, but before I do, I want to share some viewer mail that I've been getting recently. These are from Joe. These are Chris Sabo starting lineup figures. Chris Sabo is my favorite red and I don't have these. They're pretty cool, I'm gonna put one of these on the wall. So thank you, Joe, I appreciate that. I also got this really cool vintage Cincinnati Reds glass. It's got Mr. Red Legs with the mustache and he's like doing all these different things, you know, catching a ball, hitting a ball, fielding. Pretty neat, I don't have that one. And it's from Jerry and Joan. Guys, thank you so much. They sent a really nice note with it too, saying that they've just started selling for about six months now and they like watching the videos and it's uh, they're learning a little bit from them. So I really appreciate that. And they've got an eBay store that they've recently started. So if you guys want to check out their stuff, I'll put a link down below. Jerry and Joan, thank you so much. This means a lot. All right, last but not least is this vintage Cincinnati Reds World Series t-shirt. How cool is that? This is from Scott and Deborah. Guys, thank you so much. And it's my size too. This is really cool. I appreciate it. First thing we are pulling is a t-shirt. This is a Marvin the Martian t-shirt. Um, this was in that bulk buy I made about a month ago. And turns out this thing's pretty rare. Um, I had it listed for 100 or best offer. Took a best offer of $50 free shipping. And this is officially the most expensive t-shirt I've ever sold. Sold a couple more mini football helmets. I sold the Washington State Cougars helmet for $11 plus shipping. And this one right here, I actually could not figure out who the school was, who that mascot was. And uh, turns out it is the New Mexico Lobos team. This packaging was in really bad shape and it's missing the screws. I mean, there's a bunch of things wrong with this. So I took a best offer of $5 plus shipping. And it's going out to a viewer named Ruben. Ruben, thanks for the support. Hope you like the helmet. So the two remaining Frigidaire water filters. I got three of these at a church sale a couple weeks ago for a dollar each. The other one I already sold, and these two sold for $49.98 free shipping. I sold a Franklin Language Master. Uh, this is part of another uh, big book buy I made recently. I might have a dollar into this, probably less. It sold for $10.49 free shipping. And it's going out to your name, Ethan. Ethan, thanks for the business. I really appreciate it. I sold the Seinfeld trivia game. Here it is. This was new in the plastic. I got it at a garage sale for a dollar. It sold for $16.99 plus shipping. Let's go out to your name, Mora. She says it's a gift for her son. So thank you for the support. Hope he likes the game. I'm a huge fan of Seinfeld myself. So I'm sure this will be pretty fun to play. All right, I sold one of the Hot Wheels that I recently got. This is a Real Riders set of three. The reason I call them Real Riders is because the wheels are rubber. So they're made to look like, you know, they're made to look and feel like real tires. I paid $3 for this one and it sold for $109.99 plus shipping. I sold a Behringer mixer. Got this at a garage sale for, I think it was like five bucks or so. And it sold for $39.99 plus shipping. The way I'm shipping out that Behringer mixer is I'm putting it in a long regional A. With regional A and regional B boxes, they make two different shapes of each. So I knew that this one would be a good fit for the mixer and I knew a way that over two pounds, it's gonna come in at like four pounds or something, but it'll ship at the two pound rate. Whenever you guys are shipping anything, give it just a little bit of critical thought before you just throw it in a box, you know, tape it and ship it out because there's usually a better way to save a little bit of money on shipping it out. The example being, you know, a regional A or a padded flat rate. There's a lot of different options to go with. So if you guys don't know about the regional A, regional B boxes, you can get them on usps.com and I use them pretty regularly and saves a pretty good amount of money. One thing I'm pulling from storage today are these ping irons. They're S58s, I just listed them three or four days ago. I got them in a garage sale maybe like three weeks ago. They were part of a bag full of clubs. Um, I paid 100 for everything. I think I've already sold about $150 worth from that stuff. And then these sold for 
plus shipping. I had a couple big pieces here that I just sold recently. One thing was a BMX bike. It was like a Huffy 300ZX. I got it at a church sale a couple months ago. I paid $6 and this guy drove all the way from West Virginia to buy it. Um, I don't think it was like super rare or valuable. I mean, I did some research on it, but he he wanted it, so he came came and bought it. Uh, I sold that for 40 bucks, and then I had a Schwinn Airdyne exercise bike that I'd listed on Facebook Marketplace, and I didn't have any interest from it. It's really weird. Those usually sell quick for me, and I usually get around 100. Um, I decided to just get it out of here. I took it to play it against sports, and I got 65 bucks for it. It's late Friday morning. I went to some garage sales this morning and just found some excellent stuff but now it's time to get some orders packed and out the door. Okay, first up is a fish finder down here in F6. I got this at a garage sale maybe three or four weeks ago. I had to sell it as is because I didn't have any cords or anything. I paid $3 for it and it sold for $15 plus shipping. Next is a tube of eczema cream. I've got quite a bit of these. I got these real cheap, like 50 cents or less. Uh, this sold for $7, free shipping. All right, next up is a die cast car. It's up here in this box. This is a Dale Earnhardt Jr. Uh, this was in that big bulk buy of cars that I made. So I've got like 650 into each one. This sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Okay, next going out is some pennants. Sold a Pittsburgh Steelers pennant. Here it is, that sold for $14.99 plus shipping. That same buyer also bought a Hot Wheels car. This one right here, Hot Wheels Extras, 31 Doozy. That's sold for $8.99 plus shipping. Both of those are going to a viewer named David. David says, what's up, man? I've been watching the channel for a while now. Figured I'd get a few Christmas presents for my mom and uncle. Have a good one. Thank you, David. I hope they like their Christmas presents, and I appreciate the support. Okay, another pennant going out is New York Giants. Here it is. This one also sold for $14.99 plus shipping. And it's going to a viewer named Eric. Eric, thanks for the business. And if you're a Giants fan, your new QB is looking pretty good. It's about time they got Eli out of there. All right, two more going out. This vintage Golden State Warriors and a San Francisco Giants. Both of those sold for $14.99 each, and the same buyer bought this vintage Sugar Babies Broadway musical poster. Uh, that sold for $39.99. Those are going out to a viewer named Dustin. Dustin has bought for me before. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate all the support. Okay, next thing is a replica of Cincinnati's Paul Brown Stadium where the Bengals play. I've already got it wrapped up in bubble wrap and everything. Um, I had this listed for like 50 year best offer. I took a best offer of $35 plus shipping. All right, next thing is a pair of snowboard boots right in here. I got these at the garage about three months ago. Uh, I paid five bucks. I took a best offer of $25 plus shipping. I sold a bobblehead. Chicago Cubs. I got this in Tennessee at the Highway 70 sale. I paid $5. Um, actually, I got two of them. The other one already sold. And this one just sold for $19.99 plus shipping. I sold a Royal Dalton mug. Sir Francis Drake. I got this for, I think, a dollar. Yeah, it was a dollar. Um, like three weeks ago at a garage sale, and it sold for $14.99 plus shipping. It was a good week of listings. Monday, I did 10 Tuesday I did 40, Wednesday I only got three done. Thursday I did 30 and today I did 21. Uh, grand total 104 this week for 24.58. And my active listings as of today are 629. That's it for this video guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.